Now, I'm going to switch the subject for a little bit. I'm not going to put Jothi on the spot unless she wants to say something, because I'd be interested to hear your opinion, Jothi. But after all, you're what, 13 years old, 14 years old? How old are you? How old? 14. 14. When was your birthday? September. Right. I met you when you were 13. Put the thing in. Put the thing in. And Jothi is here today, because we're going we're gonna to turn around the subject a little bit, make you feel good about some of the youth of our country in case you weren't feeling that great about some of the people I just spoke about. And um, Jothi is 14 years old. She is a freshman at Lakeland High School, right, up yep. in Maypac. And uh, Jothi is here because uh, she has started her own program to educate middle schoolers about um, STEM with the A. So it's STEAM because it includes the arts. Is that right? Yep, that's right. So, and Jothi, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, as you know, my name is Jyothi Ramaswamy, and I'm a freshman at Lakeland High School in Westchester, New York. And I run cross-country, and I've also been learning Indian classical singing and dance for several years. And I'm really passionate about STEM and coding. You're passionate about STEM and coding. But you've decided that you wanted to start your own project, so you contacted IBM? Yeah, because over the summer, I went to IBM's Girls Go Techno Camp. So I met several people there that were really supportive of my initiatives. And also I introduced you to Accorda, and they're also supportive of your initiative as well, right? Yep. So what is your, what is your initiative? My initiative is to raise STEM awareness in middle school girls through the arts. And how are you doing that? Well, ThinkSeam provides several workshops that apply STEM concepts to the arts to create something artistic. And our first workshop is called Make Your Own Wearables. And basically, um, girls are introduced to mechanical and electrical engineering to program a hat to light up. That is so cool. So basically, they go to the seminar, and when they come out, they'll get a hat that lights up. Yep. And they will have made it themselves. Yes. That's very, very cool. And who are the scientists or the teachers that are running this program? Oh, well, I've partnered with... IBM scientists to make this workshop happen, and also the Society of Women Engineers. And you just got this idea all by yourself. Well, I've also been supported by my mom and my brother. Well, that's nice of you to give them some credit. They appreciate that. But this has really been your initiative. I mean, you've been the one reaching out via email. You're the one that's making the phone calls. This is your deal. Yes. This is your, your very impressive young lady. Thank you. And this is happening on uh, November 15th? Yep, the Make Your Own Wearables workshop is at Mayapak Library on November 15th. And uh, does it cost money to go to this workshop? Uh, No, it's completely free because for the materials for this workshop, actually Accorda has sponsored for this workshop and three other workshops as well. Oh, that's so wonderful. So So if you're a middle school girl in the area, any place in the area, you, they can contact you and go on November 15th from 1 to 4 and basically get some instruction from IBM scientists and make a wearable hat? Well, for this workshop on November 15th, the spots are filled up. Oh, they are? Yeah, but for our next workshop, which is 3D printing, the, um, the registration will be opening this week. And 3D printing, when is that next workshop? It's December 13th. So December 13th, you could learn how to use a 3D printer? Yes. That's pretty cool. What, you, what is it that you're going to be printing? Uh, well, I'm not exactly sure yet. I still need to work out the logistics. But I'm getting research scientists from IBM to make this workshop happen. That's pretty fantastic, Jyothi. Um Congratulations to you. 